right, here we go. Hey right. guys. Eric Jacob, I think Uzair is also joining us. How are you guys doing Drop today? For a second, be back in a moment. Yeah. We've got the chat open as well. Um, yeah, hope everyone's doing well and we're really excited to to kick this thing off. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd be interested to hear. We're just talking off uh more pre-session here, Keith and I, like where we're <laughs> from. So uh i'm in malta i'd love to you know let hear where you guys are from so let us know in the chat uh where you guys are kind of located or tuning in from oh jacob good hey, to jacob. see you buddy hey uh, i'm in london all right so similar to me you still got a bit of light outside yeah just a bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is my favorite part of the year because we uh, we're similarly very north up here in portland and it's just like four o'clock it starts getting dark and now that we're getting into february it's like okay every day a little bit more sunlight like it's a little bit more till the summer yeah i think uh All right. we, it just keeps getting darker and darker here in europe uh well it has been but it's getting lighter now which is great yeah mm. exactly so. mm. awesome well do we want to kick off i think we're still two minutes after Yeah, I'm um, I'm ready to go when when you are. All right, ready. let's do it. So. All right, so let's kick <laughs> it off. Um, for people who don't know, uh, Liam, you are the co-founder of Entrepreneurs HQ. You are you really have this kind of webinar training pr presentation down to a science, and that's what I'm excited to hear about today. Which is like we do a lot of these type of trainings. Uh, we do a lot of pre-recorded stuff, a lot of live stuff like this one. Um, it's hard. It's freaking hard. Like the processes are hard. The content's hard. Like everything about it is difficult to get exactly right. And I'm just excited to have you on and talk about some of the, uh, your expertise and some of the things you've done with this. Yeah. I'm excited to talk through it as well. And I, I think I'd love it to be an open session. So, uh, as questions come up in your mind, as you're listening to this, just like put them in the chat and happy to answer them. Um, if it's, if it's relevant during the session, if not, I might be answering it during this uh, presentation so I, I can um, answer it as we go through it or, or leave it to the end. But uh, also, Keith, love you to jump in and add um, some of your insights as we go through this because, yeah, this this workshop presentation is all about getting clients and getting them consistently and not having to necessarily show up live all the time. Uh, you know, it can get quite tiring to show up live doing presentations all the time. So uh, we're going to talk through a little bit about uh, the value of setting it up on evergreen on demand for people to look forward to it. That's going to be awesome. All right, great. Uh, so should we, should we jump into the presentation then? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So I'm going to share my screen and just uh, let us know in the chat if you guys can see this. Okay. Just give me the thumbs up. All right, great. So as Keith mentioned, um, I'm the co-founder of Entrepreneurs HQ. Uh, I've been running virtual events uh, since 2015 uh, when we launched the business. It launched our business, <laughs> these virtual events. Uh, but specifically, I'm going to focus in on one particular type of what I call virtual events, at least anyway. Uh, and that's uh, a virtual workshop that will fill your courses and programs in just 90 minutes. So it's a quick, simple, easy way, powerful way to get high paying clients off the back end. So, uh, I mean, a lot of you might be familiar with uh, the, the traditional kind of sales webinar. Uh, and a few years back, I'd been running these myself and, uh, using them to get new clients and they did well, they got some results, but they weren't exactly everything that I'd hoped. Uh, I mean, for sure, like webinars work, uh, people love them, they get great results for themselves and their audience. But for me, it just didn't feel right. It maybe felt a bit too salesy, uh, too many pitches going on or the expectation of a pitch, right? Uh, uh, and, and in this presentation, there really isn't a pitch at the end. There's an invitation. Uh, just like our workshops, uh, we don't actually have a pitch. We actually 
uh, the way we design it uh, and model it is to have people raising their hands. Like they're drawn to it. They, after the presentation, they just want to work with you and they're raising their hands. And they're asking, well, what is the next step? How can we have a conversation about what it might look like to spend more time together? Uh, so if that sounds good to you, we're going to go into the details uh, about that uh, during the presentation. Uh and yeah, I think just in terms of the, the topic today, I think you'll just find that if you're already doing maybe more of a traditional sales webinar, uh, this might be a more fun, uh, more engaging, more authentic way for you to fill your courses and programs and in just 90 minutes. So super quick. Now, a little bit of background and my expertise in running these virtual events. So I launched my first one in 2015. Um, and since then, I've hosted over 15 virtual summits myself, launched hundreds for clients. So those are virtual summits. They're like multi-day conferences, but I've also done one-day virtual conferences, half-day virtual events, masterminds, boot camps, seminars, workshops, right? Dozens of these workshops that we're going to be going through in detail today. Uh, and they've all been online. Like you could tell by my accent, I'm an Aussie. I'm Australian. I'm living in Europe right now with my partner who's Swedish. Most of our clients are in the US or Canada, UK, Australia are the other big markets. Uh, but typically uh, we're serving people internationally. Um, and when it comes to doing all these different types of events, it's, it's safe to say that I haven't found a strategy that builds your email list, establishes you as the expert in your niche faster and more efficiently than what we're going to go through today. So, so why did I pick workshops versus summits, challenges, boot camps, seminars, all the different ways of doing things? Because I think these are the ultimate way of getting started quickly. The moment you go live with a virtual workshop, and we want to go live when we first get started with this, uh, and then we can record it, we can turn it evergreen, and we'll discuss that a little bit later. But the moment you go live with your, your event, your workshop, you're growing your authority systematically the way that we've designed the workshop. The attendees at the workshop see you as the go-to expert of, and they want to work with you, right? You're attracting your ideal clients that you enjoy spending time with, you love working with in your courses and programs. And you're making an impact in the world. You're making it a better place, helping people reach their goals and, and their dreams. All right, but doesn't don't all vir uh, virtual events kind of do that? Uh, well, let's take a look at that. Uh, how is it different from other types of virtual events? So one of the things is that uh, instead of inviting other experts to come and speak at your event, you were actually sent a stage for your workshops. Uh, and I love this fact because it gives your students, your prospective clients, an opportunity to get to know what it's like to work with you. They get a taster. It's like a demo of actually what it's going to be like uh, to be spending time with you workshopping on their business. Uh, and that's super important if you're selling some kind of high ticket offer on the back end. You need to build that trust and rapport before someone's going to uh, shove out ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for you. So the workshop, it's all part of building your personal brand, which is crucial when selling uh, your coaching service, your consulting or one-on-one -on -one work, for example. Like it's about you. You are center stage. Uh, now, when it comes to my experience speaking with small business owners, as I said, like we've had over 100,000 people, uh, small business owners go through our events, through our training. We've actually got a group of over 300,000 small business owners. It's the largest group on LinkedIn. But uh, the, the commonality that I, I get uh, when speaking with them is that my like, generating leads is tough. Uh and it's not about quantity, right, guys? It's about quality. We want the right people at your workshops. Uh, and the the way that we design the workshop, the, the attraction magnet that we use, the call to action uh, to get people to show interest and register for your workshop does this really well. So 
we want to build your email list and a targeted list of your ideal clients, uh, and then position you as that go-to expert, the authority, the number one choice in your market in front of uh, the participants, right? Whilst building the trust and rapport with them, right? And also while providing a ton of value, getting people results in a quick amount of time, like super short, it's just 90 minutes. So this is why I absolutely love it. And if you're still struggling, okay, well, what's the difference between webinars and a workshop? Because I know webinars are 90 minutes too. Uh, well, I say the biggest difference is that a webinar provides information on how you could potentially get results using a certain system or framework. Right? And there's maybe testimonials of other people doing it, but you don't know whether it works for you. A workshop, on the other hand, implements that same system and framework immediately and provides tangible results straight away in real time. So you know for a fact that this works for you, right? Because you've implemented it. You've seen the results. You're like, ah, oh, amazing. It works for me. I don't need to try it or do the effort or do the work like you would have to after some kind of information session, like a webinar uh, or some other kind of free training that's out there. Uh, and here's why I think this is incredibly powerful. And this is really the secret behind the whole thing. It's someone achieves a goal with you in a short amount of time, just 90 minutes. No matter how small that result or goal that they've achieved is, they're going to feel that they've made progress. They've made progress with you. And they're going to think, all right, well, if I've made these kind of results with Keith in just 90 minutes, imagine what we could achieve in three months together or a year working together. You're giving them instant proof that you're going to make a real difference for them. And this differentiates you from everyone else in the market that's just sharing information. I mean, we all know information overload. Information's free out there now. It's so difficult to get someone necessarily to show up to a free session these days. Right? We differentiate ourselves in the marketplace with delivering a, a result, not just information, a result that makes a real difference in their lives, in their business, whatever it is you might be helping people with. And especially in an increasingly tech-savvy world, uh, many people are just fatigued with a traditional sales webinar. There's no, there's some kind of pitch coming up, up and they're going to switch off or they're going to just feel that that tightness in their chest knowing that, uh, there's that pitch or that salesy thing coming up later on. And I'm sure maybe you've seen comments in webinars uh, with people just saying, just tell us the price already. Like we're seeing all these bonuses and all these stacks going on. Um, and people just maybe just switch off when they move on. A, a well-designed workshop, like people want to hang around. They want to continue. They want to ask questions. They want to implement more. They want to get more results. They've got one result, a quick, simple, easy result. How do I get more results? Can we spend more time together? Like, can we hang out here for a little bit longer? This is great. This is the difference, right? We're going to differentiate you, position you as the number one choice for your ideal target market. All right, so I love this. Liam, I want some more information. How does this work? How do I actually design one of these workshops? The framework, it's it's simple. It's I think it's simple anyway. So just pay attention, grab out your, your notepad, pen, and paper, and write this down. Your workshop should just have one goal. It should solve one challenge, problem, provide one solution for your attendee. And it should be something unique for each workshop. It shouldn't try to encompass everything. It should be just one small step, something small that you can help people achieve in 90 minutes. I call it a quick win. A quick, simple, easy uh, win that I've achieved for my business, for my life, that's got me moving forward, right? So this is the secret behind it all, right? And we can go deeper into this in the Q&A later on. I can brainstorm with this. This is what we're really good at. We've done dozens of these ourselves as well as hundreds for clients. Um, I was just thinking, I think we've done uh, over a thousand of these now, just thinking um, for our clients, uh, designing workshops and um, bringing 
clients from these workshops. This is what they're designed for, right? So happy to discuss and answer any questions, throw them in the chat, guys. Um, send me an email later on if it comes to you a little bit later. That's cool. Or we can we can we can talk about this a little bit later on. We can jump on a call uh, one on one if it's more secret, more private, and we can discuss your specific business. But once you've got the promise, the title, the attraction, what's going to draw your ideal clients to you, the workshop itself, we uh, teach it in three thirty minute modules. Each module ends with an exercise. So after they've gone through the, through the three sections, uh, they've actually achieved your quick win. They've got the result. They've achieved what you promised they were going to get at the end of the 90 minutes together. So this is all about providing results fast, like however small, micro they may be, because that's why people signed up. Like there's a promise of certain result. Okay, I'm coming to this workshop. I want to workshop it. I want to get that result within the 90 minutes if possible. And there's other ways that we've been able to do it. If it's not quite possible in 90 minutes or people need a little bit more time, some great um, functionalities that we've been able to achieve to get people results. Uh, and this is great because if you haven't run this program before, you're just starting your business, this gives you testimonials. Uh, Liam was able to deliver the promised result uh, in a super short amount of time. Uh, and this was the result I was able to achieve. And since then, it's now grown into this impact and this bigger result, right? So these testimonials can come from this quick 90-minute workshop that you can set up in just seven days, guys. This is super simple, easy to set up. Like the way that we're teaching this result for people, we're doing it in just 90 minutes. It shouldn't take us a lot of time to uh, teach this content, we should be spending a lot of time just helping people implement, making it work for their business and making sure they get the results or so hand holding them through. Um, there might be one-on-one, -on -one, we're doing it as a group, uh, but there might be some times where we need to handhold people and make sure that they come through, they get the result, you get the testimonial, but more than that, they want to work with you more. Right? And they're saying, all right, how do I do more of these workshops or how do I work with you more? and you're enrolling them into your courses, your group coaching, your one-on-one, -on -one, your consulting, your service, whatever that may be. Uh, now, if you already know me, uh, you've seen me around doing these virtual events, you might have attended one of my virtual events. Uh, we do sponsor virtual events as well. Uh, speaking of sponsorships, like we're great at helping you get sponsors for your events. We had Vimeo uh, spend 10K sponsoring one of our events. And then they went on and spent another five figures with us for the next 12 months of our events. Uh, so yeah, there's another monetization element to these virtual events. Uh, we're focusing in on these 90 minute workshops right now, uh, but there's plenty of other virtual events. You can pull in these uh, sponsorships for your business and generate a new, re net, new revenue stream for your business. And we're going to go through all the different revenue streams uh, or the three major key ones that I see from these workshops uh, a little bit later during this presentation. But end goal, right? Like I always talk about the importance of your end goal with my clients. You might've heard it from me before, uh, but whenever you're doing anything in your business, whatever task or project, it should be the purpose of uh, getting you one step closer to your end goal. And your end goal is your desired outcome. For most of our coaching clients, for example, uh, it's selling their high ticket program off the back end, right? And typically that is one-on-one -on -one or group coaching, maybe consulting or a service. And if that's your goal too, you just need to see that well, how your workshop can actually fit into the bigger picture and how your workshop will just be maybe a tiny piece of your high ticket offer, a small goal that people reach on attaining uh, their end goal. Uh, and perhaps you've already got your topic this way from your high ticket offer. You want to reverse engineer it back down to your workshop. And what is that one step? And yeah, you want to go on a journey with us? Well, there's plenty of other steps in the journey and this is the program that we uh, will need to work in. But you've taken the first step, super important. You can see this works. You can see the potential. We had a good time today, right? Yeah, great. All right, let's 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 work together even further. Now, if you don't have maybe a high ticket program off the back end, we can help you design that. Uh, that's not a problem, but we want to make sure 
if you're creating this for the first time, it should be highly scalable and highly profitable because if we're getting dozens of people into our workshop, uh, we're getting people to enroll into uh, conversations with us, they're booking calls and they are actually interested in working with us further. We want to make sure that uh, we've got everything in place that needs to be there and it should be scalable, profitable, and we can handle the amount of uh, applications, traffic uh, that's coming through that. Uh, if you if you have maybe a course or something different, uh, mid-ticket offer, that's cool. Whatever works for you, whatever uh, you're selling off the back end, uh, this workshop and the front end works really, really well. Position you as the number one choice that people choose to work with. Uh, and from this, if there's one takeaway from this specific uh, slide here is don't just put together a workshop if it doesn't serve your long-term purpose. Keep your eye on the prize. Know the end goal. I want to sell more of my 10K offers. And reverse engineer it. How is your workshop going to position your prospects, your participants in your workshop? to be just throthing, ready to enroll and work with you further. Uh, now, this, this workshops, it's a virtual event. It's online, uh, completely online. We're driving traffic on there. And most of your time should be spent on marketing, promoting, and filling your event. Like filling the room should be your absolute priority. Like get bums on seats. And unfortunately, I, I see a lack of focus in this area. So when I hear people say that, oh, my workshop, my summit, my conference, my seminar, whatever it is, it just didn't meet my expectations. I always ask them, okay, well, how much time did you spend on your marketing? What, what was the strategy behind your marketing? What did you action? What did you implement? For your marketing and your promotions and typically the answers that i'm getting back is just not nearly enough and like i mentioned the good thing about a virtual workshop is uh, that you're not going to invite any other expert speakers anyone else involved it's just about you and that means that you should be able to put together the content quite quickly right you're only providing a quick win for them so you no need to wait for anyone else to provide their content play their part you can focus most of your effort on actually getting people interested and turning up for your workshop. And not just any people, right? It's the right people, people who want to work with you, who love you, love what you're doing and how you're doing it. Uh, and that's why workshops are great because like, I'm building a lifestyle business for myself. Uh, I want to create that dream lifestyle, have fun doing it, involves uh, working with people that I enjoy spending time with. Uh, so I don't take on clients that aren't a good fit for me. And I can see that when I'm workshopping with people, when, when people show up to my workshop and you know, the people that are going to just cause problems later on, uh, they typically, they don't, they don't achieve the quick win in the workshop. They just not action takers. Uh, and so they're not going to be maybe a great client for you. And you're not going to be able to maybe deliver amazing results for them. And that's why we're here. We are here to serve people and get them the promised results and help them achieve their goals of why they're choosing to work with us. So focus in on, on the marketing, the promotions, getting people there. And if you're nervous about doing a virtual event, you're worried about, oh, how am I going to come across on camera? Are people going to like me? Are they going to, I'm afraid of failure. Uh, I'm afraid this is just not going to work for me. What should I wear? What should I say? Uh, my number one best piece of advice is just be yourself. The great thing about this is we don't have to be salesy. We don't have to tra transition to uh, a sales pitch. We don't have to feel anxious about that at all because that ain't happening in our workshops. You can absolutely be yourself. And I encourage you to just be personal Although always to the point, providing value, be, make sure that's your number one focus. They have to achieve the quick win. They achieve the quick win. You've done something that maybe all the other experts, coaches, or alternatives to you that they're weighing up in their mind haven't been able to do for them. And that's get them a result. 
Be comfortable in your own skin, own it, have fun, be confident that you can get people results. And especially like with your first workshop, go ahead, make it simple, make it easy for people to get a result, survey them afterwards, figure out, well, what could I have done better? What did you struggle with? Implement that onto the next workshop. And as you do more and more of these workshops, you start seeing results, even from the very first workshop with half a dozen people there, you get results, you get testimonials, you start feeling great, more and more confident in what you're delivering, who you're serving, and what you're doing. And this is the greatest thing I think about this uh, workshop model. Um, now, I'm pretty sure like once you do uh, one of these, two of these, you're going to get into a bit of a rhythm. You're going to love hosting them. You might get a little addicted to the feeling of these testimonials coming in, people saying, hey, I want to work with you. You don't have to sell anymore. Uh, it's a natural progression of people just raising their hands and asking, I want to work with you. I want to spend three months. I want to spend a year with you. I want you to help me with my business or my life, whatever it might be with their challenges and issues, right? They're proud that they've made progress and they've got you to thank for it. They associate progress with you. And right, if you're in coaching or any kind of, training or support like that's the reason why we do this right is to help people to help bring the best possible results for others and it's almost never as evident as it is in a, a virtual workshop all right so a lot of you might be asking all right well if there's no pitch there's no salesy conversation that i have to have at the end how am i making money for this thing how do i charge people um, how am I making money from this virtual workshop, Liam? All right. So firstly, there's two options when you're inviting people to attend your workshop. You can charge upfront fees to actually attend your workshop, or you can make it free depending on your goal, right? The, the benefit of the free is you're generating leads. Uh, it's more easier for people to sign up to the workshop, you're getting a higher conversion rate. Uh, you've got more people uh, registered for your workshop. You're building your email list. However, if you're charging people, on the other hand, some kind of upfront fee, uh, typically we see, and we've charged $20, $50, a couple of hundred dollars for these workshops. There might be, there might be a little bit less people signing up because it's not a freebie anymore. They've got to pull out their credit card, then they've got to buy but they're more likely to show up. You're going to get a higher show up rate. They're more likely to take action. They're more likely to achieve the quick win, right? And they're more likely to convert into a high ticket client on the back end because they've achieved the quick win. So we're going to get higher conversion points by putting uh, a little bit of a paywall to attend this workshop. We're getting a higher quality audience there and they're surrounded by high quality people. There's no tie kickers any further. So there are two options there. There's the, the free option and there's uh, the paid option. Uh, we use both uh, simultaneously, uh, which works really well. So we can build leads and uh, generate revenue on the front end straight away too. Uh, if there's any questions, guys, feel free to throw them in the chat now. Happy to kind of answer them or let me know if you're following along. Let us know if uh, this is good for you so far. Uh, but these are just a couple of things to consider, like whether you want to generate leads uh, or if you want more high quality people, create a digital product you can now sell because um, there's the opportunity to make immediate cash there straight away. Jacob, yes, good stuff. Awesome. Okay. Any questions you've got, just let me know, but otherwise I'll continue. All right. Great, Keith. All right. So that's 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 the first way we can we can make money from this thing. How else can we make money? Right. I said there's no blatant sales pitch at the end, but but I hinted before that there's an invitation. An invitation to discover how they can uh continue getting quick wins to continue making progress by working with you uh, and following the workshop framework, this type of invitation, it, it really does work well uh, from 12 attendees 
paid attendees at your workshop, you should be converting two, three, four of these guys into clients for your courses and programs, right? So you can see a 25% conversion rate uh, typically uh, from these types of events, which is awesome, right? And that's way higher than most sales webinars or that traditional sales webinar. And we're skipping, remember the sales pitch there. It's an invitation to have a conversation about what it might be look like to work together further. And there's another opportunity to make money. Okay, guys, uh, I encourage you to uh, run your workshop live for the very first time uh, that you're doing this or any new workshop that you may cre be creating, but always record your workshops. And once you feel like, hey, this was finely tuned, this worked really well, it converted really well, it's getting results for the participants, it got results for us, we got plenty of people buying and turning into clients, then you should be selling it evergreen. And by evergreen, I mean that it, you should make it available on demand so people can access it every day. This way, when you've uh, done this and people have an urgent need for your solution, uh, for the promise uh, that you've been promising at your workshop, they're going to be able to get immediate instant access to it and buy straight away versus waiting till next month for the workshop to begin. They're going to go, I can't wait another month. This is an urgent problem I have right now. And so they're going to go off and search and find one of your competitors who has immediate access to uh, a solution for them. All right. So, we do it live, we record it, and we make accessible on demand. Um, and you've also created now a low ticket offer, a new digital product, right? an online course. It's a mini course. It's a digital product you can sell every day for $50, $100, a few hundred dollars. And I can tell you that I've been selling my virtual events on Evergreen since 2016. We ran our first event in 2015. We turned them Evergreen, which, which means, yes, they're out there and available to purchase today, immediately, every single day of the year. And we've been selling them for years, for like six, seven, eight years now, however long that is. Um, and they keep providing sales for me every single day in combination because we've got plenty of these events out there now. They book appointments and they're turning into clients for us. And these clients are coming from events we ran years ago. I don't have to show up live to them anymore. People are purchasing events and workshops I ran years ago. And they're turning into clients today. Super powerful. Um, now, as you probably understand, workshop profits on its own can, but aren't the quickest way for you to scale your business and get high profit margins in your business, right? The big bucks really come from that back-end sale, the high-paying clients. And maybe your mid-ticket offers, your courses, whatever type of business you're, you're creating for yourself, a membership, community. But a virtual workshop is one, if not the best way to get people excited about what you do, loving your system, getting them a result, and ready to sign up and enroll into your next offers. Uh, and let's just talk about like, okay, well, how far can this scale, Liam? Like how big can this grow? It really comes down to three components. And these three components are typical for all the types of virtual events that we teach our clients. Virtual events are great at building your email list, uh, building your authority, being seen as the number one choice to your target market, getting people to pay, raise their hand and make immediate sales from this new digital product, this virtual event that you're running, booking appointments and then uh, enrolling high ticket clients from it. So no matter what type of virtual event, these three components are pretty standard, whether you're running a workshop like where we've been talking about today, a summit, which I've done you know, over 15 of these myself and hundreds for clients or some kind of challenge, seminar, boot camp, mastermind, whatever. And those three elements, they're the registration page, the sales page, and then what you do post-workshop or post-event. Now, just pay attention here, guys. If you've been 
concentrating on doing something else. You lost a bit of track focus back in uh, because you need to pay attention here because we're going to be talking numbers and it's all about data. It's all about seeing what works best for your business and how is it going to convert to maximize your investment, your time investment, uh, your financial investment in this workshop, in this virtual event to, to get the biggest ROI possible off the back end. So here's the example. Pay attention, guys. Uh, we've got two events here. We can see on the left-hand side, event A and event B. Workshop A at the top, workshop B in this example at the bottom. Uh, and we've got the three core elements at the top, the registration page, the sales page, which we're saying, okay, let's say on the sales page, we're selling the $100 VIP access to the event. So there's some kind of VIP experience we're giving people at our workshop, or it's just a paid workshop, right? So we're charging $100 there. And then we've got our post-event strategy that we are focusing in on. All right, so let's take a look at this, how this lands out. Event A and B both have exactly the same number of visitors. This is exactly the same event, uh, same topic, same industry being hold, held at the same time. Just imagine this is exactly the same event. However, the registration page is a little bit different. There's some little things, nuances we're doing before we get people to register. Remember how I talked about how important the promise is uh, to attract the ideal clients in? Well, this is where it's being shown here. And there's some few other intricacies here, but uh, event A converted at 50%. So they got 2,750 leads, number of people registered for their event. Uh, workshop B, we had a much higher conversion rate. 73% of people who visited the registration page ended up signing up for the event. So we had 4,000 people registered. And this is exactly the same event. And you can see there's over 1,000 new leads from the exactly the same amount of effort. Remember, we've worked really, really hard to drive 5,500 people to this event. But one is equated to 1,000 more leads in our database. And typically, I'll just let you know, with our events that we run, uh, with our workshops, uh, the way that we create a lead magnet at the very beginning of these, uh, we want them to convert anywhere between 60 to 75%. Uh, and over time, we want to optimize that to convert to, yes, yeah, 73% and above. So this is real numbers that we see. And even 50% is quite good, right? That's when you're looking at, when I'm looking at other events out there and I've seen people trying to figure this out on their own and they're doing it. Yeah, sure. They're, they're getting some good results, but it's not great results. And that's just on the registration page. Let's look at the sales page. What have they done to, between maybe the registration and the sales page to get different conversion rates or what, what's happening on the sales page itself? Event A, workshop A gets a 2% conversion rate. Event B gets a 5% conversion rate. 55 buyers at $100 versus 200 buyers at $100. Four times almost the amount of buyers. This is exactly the same event, right? We've done something really strategic here to make people intrigued enough and interested enough to pull out their credit card or their payment, uh, gateway, whatever it is, and, and purchase this offer. So you can see already there's four times the results, four times the amount of money we've made. But event A doesn't actually have anything happening post-event, summit, workshop, whatever's happening at the end here. So they've made 55 sales at $100, total revenue, five and a half grand. Awesome. I did this in 90 minutes. Uh, I promoted it for seven days, five grand. I'm going to do this every single week. This is great. Uh, and this is a mistake I made uh, early on. Uh, in 2015, 2016, 2017, we didn't have anything on the back end. So this is the kind of money we're making. Our, our first event actually made $50,000 just from the sales page, this $100 offer, $50,000. Yeah, we had 500 buyers. Uh, and we converted between those numbers, between 2 and 5% for that as well. Uh, it was 3 point something. Uh but you can see that event B is going to be better, right? Already, <laughs> because they've they've got a post-event strategy. They've got 
a product, an offer off the back end, a high ticket offer. Let's say it's a $10,000 offer. And when we're designing the high ticket offer for our clients, when we're designing this system, this uh, uh, working out this formula and implementing it into your business, we're going to be looking at, well, what is your high ticket offer? Do you have it? Is it highly scalable, highly profitable? And we want it to be around maybe 5, 10, 15K, somewhere in that space. But let's say it's $10,000. $10,000 to maximize our return on investment. We have just a 1% conversion from the 4,000 people that registered. 1%. We've got 40 buyers. 40 buyers paying us $10,000. We've made $400,000, almost half a million from this workshop summit, whatever event it is, because this works across the board. So including the 200 buyers paying $100, which made us 20K, plus the 400 in the high ticket sales, you can see 20K versus 400K, what a big difference that is. We've made $420,000 from this. So I just want to see you guys to see the power of uh, the, the, the sales uh, strategy. And there's no real pitch that's happening, remember? It's non-salesy. We're inviting people to continue work with us. We're asking, you know, who's raising their hand and we're getting people, you know, running to us. If you want to try to kind of create some kind of visualization, on this running to us, eager to continue working with us. So massive differences. Happy to answer any questions on this. Or if you want to uh, jump on a call with me later on and talk through numbers for your business, well, how would I drive Five and a half thousand visitors. Uh, remember, we had fifteen thousand. Well, I haven't told you this yet, but we made fifty thousand for our first event. We had fifteen thousand people register. Fifteen thousand people register, uh, and we had around a seventy percent conversion rate for that very first event. So we were able to drive was it probably twenty thousand visitors to that page uh, to get those five, fifteen thousand registrants. So we're really good at generating traffic, generating leads, and it's all about attracting the ideal clients, don't forget, and making sure it aligns with your high ticket offer. There's a lot going on here, a lot of moving parts, but I wanted to just go through that with you. The four core benefits to just reiterate for you for these workshops, whatever type of virtual event you want to run, if you're already running events, you want to um, scale this, you want to improve, you want to optimize it, increase your conversions, growing your email list and audience, position you as the authority the go-to expert, you're making an impact, you're getting real results for people, you're getting and delivering quick wins. You combine all of those right in the middle of these circles, you're generating revenue. High profit margins if you've got the high ticket offer on the back end and you're doing that in a scalable way. And just to reiterate again, how are we making money from our workshops? It's the upfront fees. Uh, we're inviting people along to a conversation to... Uh, talk about what it might look like to work together for our high paying uh, client activities, group coaching, for instance. Uh, and then we're evergreening this whole system, right? So we don't have to do any more emails, new sales pages. That's all been created the first time you went live. Now we just set it on evergreen. We just need to send traffic into that funnel. This uh, virtual event funnel then just pulls people through all the way. And by the end of it, they're raising hands, they're getting quick wins, they're loving you. Uh, and they're asking about how it might look like to work together further. So happy to answer any questions on that today here. But also, uh, I'd love to invite you to uh, have a session with us. Uh, we call it our predictable income freedom session. Uh, why? Because we're turning this evergreen and at the end of this funnel, once you've uh, plugged this into your business or attached it to your existing business, you're, you've got now an evergreen funnel, a consistent flow of traffic leads and clients coming off the back end, delivering predictable income for you and your business, right? Providing you with freedom, like financial freedom, but also time freedom because we're automating all of this. And it's a seven-step system that we have in our predictable income freedom uh, uh, session that we can go through with you and we can talk about how this would look in your business. There's actually an assessment that we'd like you to do prior to that. And actually I'll put this in the chat now for everyone. Uh, it's the link uh, to go and book one of these sessions. 
uh, so we can just have a conversation about uh, what it looks like uh, for your business. And prior, as I said, once you go through this link, uh, so you may as well click on it now, uh, choose a date, time that works for you, our uh, team of coaches have opened up their calendars over the next few days, especially uh, for Keith's audience. So jump in there and jump on it. Uh, I'll just uh, give you the URL if you're not able to see it on the chat. Just type in go, G-O dot schedule you dot I-N forward slash B-P-J-F B-3-W. So those Letters again, go.scheduleyou.in forward slash BPJFB3W. I probably should have organized a little bit more of an easier URL for you guys today, but I thought it would be on this slide. Uh, so once you book on that call, you'll be asked to fill an assessment so we can really get to understand you and your business. Uh, and where you're at on your virtual event journey. Maybe you're, you haven't done a virtual event before. You don't know what type of virtual event you could possibly be doing or uh, what's possible for you uh, and the stage that you're currently at. So happy to discuss all of that. We will discuss all the assessments, which will lay out all of those kind of opportunities there for you. So even if you just um, book it and go through the assessment, there'll be so many relevant rele Revelations, yes, Re revelations uh, from uh, doing that assessment, which will just identify all these opportunities for you. Uh, we will look through this and go through it together and discuss those opportunities. We can create a plan uh, with you on this call and give you clear next steps to just implement uh, this virtual workshop system that gets you clients in just 90 minutes straight into your business. Uh, so, so Keith, happy to open up and answer any any questions that the audience have if you're in the audience uh just type them in the chat now or we can we can bring you up live if Put you want or, yeah yeah keith yeah you might have some questions as we we go through this too i mean i think the thing is it was it was super straightforward i don't actually have any questions look at going through this like uh, this is something that i love to look at which is that the whole expert based selling which you know, you, you mentioned this a number of times, it's not actually selling, it's it's an invitation. But because you are the expert, and you're the one that are setting the expectations for success, everyone af that comes after you is then compared to you, you're then the yardstick, right? You're the you're the meter stick of what is success and what is possible. And that's, it's just such a great positioning thing that works so well, like you're saying with the evergreen, with those, um, with the summits and stuff like that. Um, I do have one question, but I'm going to have Jacobs go first. He says, what about putting the workshop on YouTube as evergreen with a CTA to the offer, as opposed to doing it, uh, fully on your own site? Yeah, sure. So, uh, this would mean it would be a free workshop versus a paid workshop. So we want to make sure that works for your business and your ultimate goal. Now, the way that we do this typically is we want people to pay for this workshop. We want people to actually attend, take action, implement, and get results, right? We don't want just people thinking it's another freebie that's out there that they can just sit there and watch. They should show up motivated, clearing their schedules. There should be a workbook that we're sending to them pre-workshop to fill in and um, be prepared that this is they're coming to this training session it's not a training session it's a workshop right there'll be some training but you're going to be workshopping you're going to be implementing you're going to be taking action so uh i'll give you i'll give you an example potentially you can use um youtube uh in another way to drive traffic to your workshop providing some kind of uh vsl uh, or video training or pre-work for the workshop, uh, enticing people. Uh, but I'll give you an example of a, a workshop that we've run in the past uh, that has worked really well to attract our ideal clients uh, and give people the feeling of a quick win that was wow, super easy to work with you, Liam. It was quick, easy. I got the result uh, in under the time that you promised. And uh, it's uh, gave me the result. It's going to impact me not just today but every single day into the future so this example is uh 
a workshop that I called Three Referrals in Three Minutes. And if we just analyze the, the title for a moment, uh, three referrals, uh, just think about three referrals as a small business owner. If like, if you got three referrals, how many of those would convert into a client? Maybe it was one, maybe two, maybe all three. And how much are those clients worth to you? Are they worth 5K, 10K, maybe more each? So potentially uh, we can get three clients worth 10K each, making 30K from these three referrals. And you promised me three referrals in just three minutes, three minutes, right? So we're analyzing that part. It's like, it's quick, it's simple. I'm assuming it's simple. It's just three minutes. <laughs> Seems like easy to do, right? So we're providing three referrals in three minutes. So how would I deliver this? I would welcome everyone, do all the usual. And then I got three minutes to show you guys exactly how to do this. So I'll share my screen. I'll show them how I get three referrals in just three minutes. Now, this is a 90 minute workshop. We've got another 87 minutes together for me to implement this system into your business. So let's workshop it and get these three referrals for every single person that's here today. And we've got 87 minutes to do it. All right. So that's an example of a workshop that works really well. We show them what's possible. We show them how easy it is to do it. We get them the result and we build a system in the remaining time to, so that they get the result immediately during the workshop, but also they've got a system where they can use this three minute system every single day to get three referrals in their business. So if you go and throw that on YouTube, maybe it won't work. Maybe you just go and show uh, the, the three minute uh, system, if you like, or you, you hint at it, you tease it versus actually giving them the whole 19 minutes on YouTube. Uh, but that's the, probably the way I'd approach it uh, and doing more, uh, maybe shorts, maybe more reels if you're thinking short videos uh, or maybe longer kind of training sessions to drive people's interest in paying just you know $50, $100 to attend your workshop. So it should be a no brainer. Three referrals in three minutes worth potentially 30K for me. Yeah, I'll pay $100 for that. That's the way we should be thinking about that. Jacob, I see you said, great, thanks. Hopefully that, yeah, answered your question. If you want to go deeper in that, just throw another chat, uh, another question in the chat. I like, I like, I really like the teaser idea there because I kind of agree that going into a full 90 um, minute thing, you've kind of turned it into that free and even removed scarcity. Like even a free webinar has a scarcity behind it. But as soon as you put it on YouTube, it's evergreen and free. If you have the whole thing, there's value, but no urgency there's no there's nothing that's like oh i gotta go do this now it's just going to go in my youtube bunk or bank or whatever we have like i have eight thousand videos that are saved and i still need to go watch and i haven't done yet right um and i like the idea of a teaser where it's like this is what we're going to go over this is the first part to see to dive down view the whole uh, workshop i like that a lot i think that's a great strategy yeah and just just to add on that like if you're thinking of ideas, well, what could those videos be? It's the promise, the promise of result. Three referrals in three minutes and talk about how big the impact could be for, you, for your business if you're getting three referrals. So talk about the result, what kind of difference it can make in their lives, in their business, in their world. And then talk about how simple, quick and easy it is because people... Like they have short attention spans, even though they're hanging out on YouTube every day. If they don't like it, they're going to move on, right? They're going to scroll on if it's on another platform. Uh, so they want the results fast. They want, that's why I call it a quick win, right? Uh, we call it our quick workshop win system uh, for this particular workshop. Uh, but it works, as I said, the the whole seven steps uh, for the high ticket uh, sale happening off the back of these virtual events uh, works throughout um, no matter whether it's a workshop or something else. I do want to be conscious of everyone's up. I do have one question about summits, which you mentioned a couple of times. Um, I guess about six, seven years ago, man, summits were everywhere. They were just converting like gangbusters. Do you still see summits being as good for conversion? Maybe not as they used to be, but do you see them as still a solid strategy? Or are they kind of more work than they're worth at this point? Uh, yeah, yes, they're still worth it is the short okay. answer to that. Why? <laughs> uh, because we've got a client who is in the migraine space and people were talking about Zoom fatigue. There's too many virtual events going on. 
uh, how is this? He, he runs the, the Migraine World Summit. Uh, he's been doing it for a few years. He's uh, one of our first clients that came on board that I shared our strategy with. Uh, during COVID, he um, had a record event. He had over 100,000 people attend his wow. Migraine World Summit during that time. And it was interesting because uh, he recorded all the, the videos via Zoom, whereas pre-COVID, he was tone, turning up in person to do these interviews mm -hmm. with these migraine specialists, um, you know, traveling around the world and getting a film crew and, and filming them in person. And he had to change it and do it virtually. Uh, now, these people are migraine sufferers. If they stare at a screen too long, they get a headache. <laughs> so anyone who says like uh people don't show up for these things anymore zoom fatigue there's too many virtual events i call bs what you need to it's have value. yeah you need to have a strong promise of a result you need to be hitting a pain a real pain for people these people were suffering from migraines they were in such pain they were and they were willing to do whatever it took to uh, make sure that they could get a solution to this. And they saw the summit as a solution to their problem. They were getting access to experts they couldn't get access to otherwise. So they were showing up. It was limited time. There was scarcity. People showed up live. They purchased because they had a headache. They couldn't spend too much time in front of the camera anymore or in front of the screen. So right. they were buying the recordings to watch in their own time. And that's what people do anyway. They are Maybe it's it's too much for people to consume all at once. So they want to consume it over a longer period of time or have all the access yeah. to the bonuses, the resources that come with that. Or they want to fast track and they register for it because they're interested. But you know what? I don't want to spend all my time watching this. I positioned, uh, I've seen you positioned as the expert now as the host of this event, like pulling together all these experts. Amazing. Let's, I want to have a conversation. Um, let's talk about working together. I want to find out more about you. And that's when, yeah, you can invite them maybe to a workshop or more in-depth uh, group training so they can figure out more about what it's like to work with you. And that's why I like the workshop so much because it gives them a result. Whereas the, the summit is a lead generator and an authority builder, but it doesn't quite do what the workshop does. So using those in combination work really well. Yeah, I, the the back end sale of the downloadable videos is always just a huge boon to to revenue, right? And I mean, I see it every even every conference I go to now is selling those videos afterwards. And it's like, I didn't get to see everything or I want to share this with the team or I want to go into this in more depth. All, it's just an instant buy for me. Like, and that's an extra thousand dollars of revenue or $500 of revenue or whatever that is per person who attends the the, the summit. So, yeah. Yeah. And people, they want maybe the transcripts or they want the summary that comes with it. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sure I miss things. So yeah, I'll just buy that for, for the summary. Like, or I can watch the videos on two speed. Like, oh, I could sit through an hour presentation, but I know when I'm out walking, I can listen to a pod, like the audio version of it in double right. speed and I save half my time. So it's worth it uh, to people to, to upgrade and purchase. And then, you know, you've got those people who raise their hand who are willing to pay to get fast access to go the fast track to get the shortcut and ultimately like if you are selling some kind of coaching program or you know course that should be the fast track to results for your ideal prospects right exactly liam thank you so much we are at time for today but i want to say thank you again uh for coming and teaching us all about this and for going into all this uh we will have the link uh that you shared the go schedule link uh down below uh we'll be putting that in the email as well and thanks so much for joining us this is wonderful yeah great keith uh thanks very much and yeah guys love to speak to you and hear about your experiences with virtual events or if you're doing a new one for the first time would love to discuss it as i said check out the the link, go and um, click on it, book a call, but then fill out the questionnaire. Well, not the questionnaire, the assessment, which will give you a specific result. It gives you a score and that score uh, and the results from that we analyze in our call together to make sure we can design uh, your predictable income freedom. <laughs> All right. Cheers, Keith. Appreciate Excellent. it. Cheers. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.